Welcome back, everybody, for another medieval historical campaign. In this one, it is going to be the last of them, the Battle of Adrianople 378. And if I sound different, it's because I am in a different location. I am uh, visiting uh, the Viper and Debbie's apartment in Germany, so I'm actually half using Viper's setup and half using my own setup. It's kind of a zombie thing. Um, Viper's in Berlin right now, so I took, like, most of his peripherals with him, so I'm just using my headset mic right now, so hopefully it sounds all right. It should be all right. We're good to go. Tomorrow, I will lead the Visigothic army northward to repel the barbaric invaders from the north. We Visigoths have settled in this land for nearly a hundred years, and before we settled down, we lived a life of displacement. Our ancestors were still living along the banks of the Transnistria River, until one day a nomadic people from the east called the Huns drove us out of that land. Since then, our tribe has been forced into a wandering life. We went all the way and came, uh, all the way west and came to the banks of the Danube, which is the frontier area, and on the other side of the river is the Roman Empire. As long as we cross the Danube, everything will be fine. The Romans also agreed to our request to cross the river, but on the condition that we should not bring our weapons into the country. For the bellicose Visigoths, weapons are our patron and saints. Without weapons, we are like lambs to be slaughtered, so we secretly bribed the frontier commander to allow us to cross the river with weapons. We thought that if we fled to Rome, we would be able to settle down temporarily. Unexpectedly, after entering the country, Roman officials have uh, been oppressing us, starving us, and forcing us to sell our wives and children as slaves. They even threw a banquet to assassinate some Visigothic leaders. We wouldn't bear to let the Romans continue, continue to bully us, so we decided to revolt. Anger soon spread among the Visigoths, and we beat down the Roman garrison along the Danube. The news of defeat reached the ears of Emperor Valens, who was uh, in the eastern part of the empire. He hurriedly signed a truce with the Persians and transferred the army from Antioch and drove back uh, to Thrace and tried to suppress the uprising of us Visigoths. We Visigoths are naturally not to be outdone. Under the leadership of Frigaturn, Fritigern and several other leaders, our tribe uh, and Emperor Valens fought a decisive battle near Adrianople. This battle will be about the life and death of we Visigoths. Oh, Eustace is so cute. Sleeping in his bed. My lord, the Roman Emperor Valens is stationed outside our camp, and he will attack us shortly. Uh, the situation is urgent, we have to prepare for it. Uh, our main force is gone, to find supplies elsewhere, and there are my troops left. Uh, okay. Wait, 240 pop limit? Hold up. Just get our economy going. All right. The initial town centers of the Visigoths in each of the three camps must not be destroyed. Looks like we have yellow and cyan as allies. Uh, so you have 15 minutes to repair our defenses. Population cap is 310. And we can go to the Imperial Age, and we have no gunpowder. The Yalans and Huns are merged with the Visigoths and migrated with them. Okay. You can train the Gothic Wagon. The two flanks are mainly defensive, so don't take the initiative to attack early. It's unwise to provoke the Romans. Romans are numerous and of high quality. Uh, Valence may be hiding within one of the Roman camps. Okay, so we are camped over here. We are the central army. There is Saffrax and Alatheus, stationed to the east and west. There's the Roman Field Legion, uh, Eastern Roman Empire, and then there's Emperor Valens. There's Emperor Gratian of the Western Roman Empire. Then there's Adrianople itself. And then there are Roman villages. What? 
Elite Gothic Wagon? Okay, man. So I don't want to go too far and start uh, provoking the Romans. Also, the resolution will probably look different because it's uh, is going to be on Viper's 4K monitor, whereas I do not have a 4K monitor. I don't think I'm recording in 4K though. I suppose I could, but it wouldn't. It's only going to be a few videos that are. Uh, I'm recording here, if that, because I have, I'm recording this on Sunday, and I have to leave for Hanover. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we have to restart. Okay, we really can't go far. Okay. No scouting. Yeah, we, we triggered the Romans to attack us. Hashtag triggered. Okay, well, that's not too big of a deal. We weren't too far into it. But yeah, I am casting uh, Dreamhack Hanover at the Grand Melee. I thought I wasn't. But, uh, change of plans at the last minute. But I am grateful to be able to go. And I was going to come here anyway to, uh, visit Debbie. Yeah, we need to get lots of TCs to get our boom going. Oh, come on, freaking goths. Let's get a lumber camp. Yeah, but they didn't really give us many uh, villagers or resources. It's like, we only have 10 more minutes. I guess I overdid it with the town centers early on. It's not like we can produce from them all at once. start mining gold. I know it's going to slow down our boom, but I'm a little worried we're going to get caught with our pants down when it comes to uh, Imperial Age. Give me Bosaw. Boo-bear. 
Oh yeah, they said we could use Gothic and or uh Okay, yeah, we can make Tarkins and we can make Kipchoks or Elite Elan horse archers. And we can make these uh Gothic wagons. Fire arrows, not uh gunpowder shots. Yeah, I am a little concerned we're gonna die. <laughs> anyway, we'll make some Tarkins and, you know, all that stuff. Guess we can make our free elite Elan horse archers now. But I don't know how much we're going to make them. Just because Goths are not really a Cav Civ or a Cav Archer Civ. But, I mean, we're on 68 vils for around 10 minutes. It's not that great. Keep on farming. Oh, wait. I have those forage bushes there. I should use them. Wild idea. Anyway, what, we're on six TCs? That should be enough. But they have they are coming in three minutes. Okay, okay. Got eleven barracks to start out with. Hand cart in just a moment. Let's get a few more houses going. I do not have a blacksmith up. Here's Safrax, who has a market in a very nice position. And here is. Alatheus, Alatheus, uh, uh, Alatheus, Alatheus. Looks like Alatheus is now in the Imperial Age. are about to attack. Yeah! Oh! Oh, they fire like scorpion shots. That's kind of cool. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. They're already sending stuff this way. up to imp. Okay, get some stables going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, leave you alone and stuff. Yeah. 
Anarchy! Oh man, that is a big attack. Oh my god, stop going into frickin' towers! Okay, just gotta keep on trucking here. Oh, wait, we're in him. Of course, Perfusion's gonna be a big one to research. My goodness, I uh, don't think I have a university. Oops, uh, racer. Well, it's another 17 minutes of trying to hold on here. It's going to be a little hard. Okay, purple is also attacking Cyan. Yellow doesn't really seem to be doing a whole lot. Oh, I know, it's very tough being a dog, Eustace. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, maybe their attacks are slowing just a little bit. No more hesitation. Okay, you guys are kind of hanging in there, all right. Now there's a market over there, so let's start setting up markets. Over here. Let's get champion. We can get elite Tarkin. It's just, I don't know how good a bunch of elite Tarkins without the last armor upgrade are going to be. Okay, looks like Alatheus is under attack again. Get you guys.
Oh, we can't make trade cards. But we can research caravans, so either that was an oversight by the developers, or we'll be able to train trade carts at a later point in time. Chop some more trees. Okay, ten more minutes. Kill them all. Oh, I can't even uh, set a gather point on these things. Guess we'll send these guys over to help out our allies. Get elite Huskarl. Guess we can get uh, you guys. Why not? Oh yeah, and the siege workshops. Get lead Tarkin. That's a big and or scary army. Oh, we can also get Elite Hussite Wagon, that's fun. Okay, six minutes. Let's go. And eh, Kipchaks are adding in some damage from the back. Yeah, not having that last armor upgrade kind of uh, stings. Making sure units don't get stuck here. Oh, what? They converted my siege workshop? Jerks! Uncool, man. Uncool. Okay, 336. No wololoing. Yeah, if we can't get trade, I'm kind of concerned about gold. Okay. 
Okay, two minutes. Oh, we wounded the Emperor. Oh, wow, that food price is great. I'm working on it. Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh! Got a bunch of Cavalier and Elite Tarkins. Okay. So we got plate barding armor, Parthian tactics, and something else. Theodosius now takes command of the Romans. Okay. Still have to defend the town centers. Uh, fight back the Romans and attack their camp. And defeat Emperor Valens and defeat the Eastern Roman Empire. Okay. Oh, okay, now I can make trade cards. So I guess I just wanted me to wait until I was done with the defensive portion of the scenario. I give my life for the future of the Visigoths. My life for ire. Still need to get some more siege workshops going. Oh, they converted that one too? These guys are such jerks. Actually, uh, well, we can tack over this way. Guess we'll go up to those Roman camps here. Anyway, I should be getting over a little over 100 gold since this would be a cross map trade line. But now Cyfrax is helping us out. Few more bills over there. Get some more Tarkins. It's Tarkin in time. Whoa. Wait, what? Oh, I never got you guys. Oh, okay. Um, so what that means for our purposes, I believe, is that we really need to defeat one of our enemies, at least by the time that Emperor Gratian arrives. Normally you'd need more than 12 barracks at this stage with 300 population, but we're goths, we have perfusion. And it's goth team bonus, I think we're fine. Ourselves a nice Byzantine camp over here. No, Eastern Roman. They'll become the Byzantines soon enough. 
No, and our allies, Cyphrax, are also taking those guys down. Where is he hiding? A good batch of armor? Oh! Oh, I already have plate mail armor. Oh. Threaten Adrianople. Prepare for battle. Okay, so now Adrianople is going to be joining the party. We get C. Oh, I guess when you destroy the castles, you get upgrades. Oh, wait, there's a monastery. Or some relics from a monastery. Oh, this is pretty awesome now. You get super goth infantry. Where'd you go, Valens? Don't chase random trade carts. I think we have arson also. Did I see that somewhere? Um, yes, we have acquired arson. It looked like our infantry was doing way too much damage to buildings. Because remember, Goths already get uh, a better version of Arson for free. Oh, we lost our castle here. Uh, that's not really what we wanted. Oh, and we also didn't want to lose these people over here to Adrianople. Oh, that sucks. I mean, that's a real big army. This is the weakest feeling 300 population I've ever felt. <laughs> a relic. Oh, there's more relics over there. Aren't we dead for nothing? Life of an infantry is worthless. Feels bad, man. Okay, well now Saffrax is helping us out again. Alatheus isn't really doing much pushing, but I think he's just taking a lot of uh, damage. Like he's absorbing a lot of the aggression. Oh yeah, they got fully upgraded cav archers now. Okay. More more. Twenty eight minutes to Western Roman attack. Okay. 
Oh, wait, that's not my treb. I should get some more trebs, though. I hear they're pretty good. Oh, here are some. Well, then maybe we can defeat purple at least before uh, red arrives. With our superpower goths, goth infantry with arson man, and plus four defense. Good old 12 Pierce Armor Huskarls. Sasa. This is going all right. Okay, all of our units are doing something. This is a pretty wild scenario. Oh, oh, they're they're going right for me. Our team stronger. What have we got? Logistica, infantry and cavalry get trample damage. Oh, uh, Velens is a pile of ashes. Okay, looks like we got him. Oh man, we essentially get Drusiana. Anyway, interestingly, we don't actually need to defeat Adrianople. Here's a couple more relics. Oh, we also haven't completely defeated purple yet, though. We need to keep that in mind. Oh, wait, they're... I mean, they're certainly still annoying. Nobody said they weren't. Some more Hussite wagons. Or sorry, Gothic wagons. They're totally different. Okay, that's a big army from yellow. Or Blue. I know I'm colorblind, but I'm not that colorblind. Get my Kipchoks! 
or my Alon's uh, horse archers or whatever they're called. Wait, why aren't they benefiting from Parthian tactics? There we go. Theodosius was defeated. Alrighty, guys. Um, I actually think that's probably going to be a good place to stop. So we're going to call it here, guys. And in the next part, we'll be finishing off this uh, historical battle series. This is a really good scenario. See you guys next time for that.